In this video, I'm going to describe how to fit the basic sleeve that we see here in the pattern. It is the uh, basic fitted sleeve with two elbow darts, and this is the front notch up over the shoulder to the back notch. Let's see what that looks like on Sarah in a mock-up. So here is the mock-up on Sarah, and I've darkened with Sharpie the uh, arm's eye seam line that we're going to be uh, pinning the mock-up sleeve to. So let's do that. Once you have the mock-up on the actor, check the shoulder notch and pin that to the shoulder seam on the bodice. This just starts you off seeing if the hang of the sleeve is at a correct angle for your client. And you can see that that hangs nicely down to the hand. It might be tempting then to continue pinning this way, but I like to pin the side seam of the sleeve to the side seam of the bodice uh, underneath the arm first, and then manage whatever excess or uh, fitting on either side in the front and then the back. So let's do the side seam of the sleeve to the side seam of the bodice next. It's handy to have a stool so you can sit down and be at eye level for this process. Um, it might be tempting to have the actor place their arm on top of your head, but that can compress the vertebrae in your neck, so have them put it on your shoulder. I'm looking now to find the side seam on the sleeve and pin that to the side seam on the bodice. I'm turning the seam allowance to the inside on the sleeve and pinning it to the seam line on the bodice. Once you have the side seam matched up, go ahead and pin another inch and a half or so to the front, matching the seam line, and then the same on the back, matching that seam line. Make sure to keep the bodice smooth. We don't want to pin in any uh, tucks in either of these. Uh, this underarm area in the seam uh, from the sleeve to the bodice is, uh, should be smooth, so make sure you pin that. Once you have the underarm uh, pinned, I like to pin one pin in the front, one pin in the back, and work my way up the sleeve cap that way. If you find that the, uh, there's some buckling here, then maybe what you need to do is uh, cut into, clip into the sleeve so as to scoop that front, uh, front curve a little more. Before we started around the curve of the sleeve cap, I ran two rows of gathers so that I could pull the sleeve cap in uh, so as to ease it around the head of the arm. We would be doing that in the construction anyway. Proceed with the pinning. You don't want to have too many gathers there because we do want this to be a fairly smooth fitted, uh, actually eased in sleeve cap. You might find it difficult to grab some fabric with the tip of your pin. And so you saw that I just started to sort of just pinch and raise the fabric itself on the bodice so that I could uh, reach in and take a bite of the muslin without um, endangering my actor. <laughs> you want to make sure to stand back and make sure that this seam line is, is nice and straight as we talked about in the um, uh, fitting the bodice. Go ahead and keep tugging on this to make sure you're not pulling the bodice off as you fit the one sleeve. Soon you'll go over and you'll uh, pin in the other sleeve and that should balance and pull this back to where it's supposed to be. Once you have the sleeve head pinned into the bodice arm's eye, take a step back and take a look at how it's all working together. I can see right now that right here, um, the, it's, a tight, it's a slightly tight fit. So I might release the sleeve cap here and have a little more fabric so that it can glide over the muscle right there. So to loosen this fabric right here, I've taken out these two pins. I'm just going to roll out the seam allowance. That's why we cut extra seam allowance here. And repin 
to see if that will provide us a little more ease. I may do that on the front at this, at this horizontal line. I may do that on the back a little bit so that I'm expanding that sleeve cap evenly uh, front and back. I'm going to then taper this to the original shoulder notch here uh, because that seems to be have a nice amount of ease uh, in that. So now that I've rolled this seam out and uh, repinned it, there is a nice amount of ease right here. So I think we've achieved a good effect. Once you've pinned the sleeve in, it's always good to check to see if the actor can actually move in the sleeve. Sarah, can you move your arm forward? Right. So I'm seeing drag lines. Drag lines always point to the trouble spot. Go ahead and relax your arm and turn slightly this way. So I'm going to roll out some fabric from the seam line just at that spot and maybe a little above and a little below. This is going to create a slight self-gusset effect, uh, but for theater, that's often what we want to do in order to help the actor be able to move. So now that I've rolled out about a half an inch or three eighths of an inch here, Sarah, would you move your arm forward a little? Yes, and that smooths this out. There is still a little bit of drag, but not, go ahead and relax, uh, but not that severe drag line that we saw earlier. 